Former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi has expressed his displeasure at the donation of food items to Nigeria by Ukraine. Ukraine had last week donated 25,000 tons of wheat as emergency food assistance to 1.3 million vulnerable crisis-affected people in northeast Nigeria amid galloping inflation and food price hike. Reacting to the development, Obi described the Eastern Europe country's gesture as disheartening. Obi, though commended the Ukrainian authorities for supporting Nigeria, said it was a national disgrace that a war thorn Ukraine is donating food items to Nigeria. He bemoaned the turning of once economically buoyant and an agriculturally endowed nation like Nigeria to a welfare state that now depends on aid from a country that perennially at war. It is disheartening that our once economically confident nation, blessed with vast arable land and abundant natural resources, now relies on a war-torn Ukraine for food assistance. Obi wrote on his Twitter page on Monday, This national disgrace stems from years of leadership failure, necessitating urgent reflection and a reordering of our national priorities and resource management and allocation. Mr. Obi added, Nigeria must aggressively reorder our priorities by investing resources in productive sectors like agriculture. The former Nambara governor said addressing insecurity is crucial for farmers to return to their fields, enabling a productive manufacturing sector and supporting small businesses. For months on end, Nigerians have been grappling with cost of living crisis engendered by galloping inflation and astronomical increase in food prices. The situation has sparked protests in major towns and cities across the country as citizens took to the streets to make known their dissatisfaction with the precarious and parlous state of the nation. Over the weekend, residents of the Federal Capital Territory stormed a warehouse and looted foodstuffs in Kasna State. A horde of hungry and hardship battered Nigerians attacked a truck transporting foodstuffs and cut it away its contents. Reacting to Peter Obi's post, Reno Mokri, an ardent critic of Obi, says that it is very ignorant for Peter Obi to say it is a national disgrace for Nigeria to receive food aid from Ukraine because it is a war-torn country. Peter Obi needs to be educated about Ukraine and wait. Please fact-check me. Egypt received food aid from Ukraine long before Nigeria did, and Egypt is still dependent on Ukraine for 60% of its wheat and much of its fertilizer needs. Egypt is a country that Peter B praises. Peter B even went to Egypt to study their economy. He said it is not he says Ukraine is the world's seventh largest wheat producer, and the war in Ukraine has not affected her position. The whole world was affected when Ukrainian wheat could not hit the market. And the World Trade Organization, led by Nigeria, helped to organize a deal with Russia that allowed Ukrainian wheat to get to countries like America. Ukrainian wheat is not only bought by America, but it's also being used as food aid to multiple countries. However, looking at Peter B's post, some people see Renomokri's reaction as a misconception. On Twitter, someone says, it is essential to address misconceptions. While Ukraine indeed provides wheat globally, Peter B's concern likely stems from Nigeria's need for self-sufficiency in food production. Recognizing Ukraine's contributions doesn't negate the urgency of bolstering Nigeria's agricultural sector. Let's foster informed discussions without politicizing vital issues like food security. So far, also replying to Reno Mokri says, This your reply to Mr. Peter B's post is laughable and portrays your desperate to oppose Obi's every opinion and always labeling it politicizing and deliberately sidelines the message that Obi used Egyptian progress in power generation as an example and case study doesn't justify Ukraine donation to Nigeria because Egypt is also a beneficiary. It's like telling a parent not to scold their child for stealing because the neighbor's kid also steals. Since 23 pre-election season, whenever Peter B says something, you, Reno, always find a way to water it down as mere politicizing. At the process of that, you end up doing 
the politicizing. Let me ask you, Mr. Reno, is it politicizing hunger that people are looting trucks or foodstuffs coming down to south from the north of Nigeria? Or was it P2B politicizing hunger when some Abuja FCT residents vandalized Nema warehouse and looted the foodstuffs stored for an emergency situation? Is that not enough indication to you that we as a nation is gradually sliding to food emergency situation? Everything shouldn't be about Twitter impression or mockery. I am Ariel Lua also says that it is true Egypt is actually in trouble because they are heavily dependent on Russia and Ukraine. They are affected by the war badly. It only makes sense for these countries to want to rescue Egypt because Egypt is their good business partner. Ukraine is a food basket nation. Getting it from them isn't a big deal. Olufemi Adigun says, remember, Benue is the food basket of the nation, but politics and insecurities have driven people out of farm. Now, either you are APC, PDP or Labour Party, hunger doesn't care about you. Peter B said, Niger State alone has more arable land than some countries. Why not look inward? Ayame Rulua also says that I have spoken about this since 2022. The crisis you are seeing now started in the flood that affected the food basket states that time. Low harvest in 2023, increase in insecurity, removal of fuel subsidy, food inflation. To get that, you must do the necessary subtraction.